All right, everybody, what is going on? Racing for Life 132 here, bringing you some more Gran Turismo 6 gameplay. Now, I'm sure most of you have seen my uh, Easy Money tutorial, which was the Like to Win event, but in truth, that isn't the best way to earn some money. Could it be the quickest? It depends on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to get maybe a thousand or a hundred thousand dollars in short time, maybe it could be the event for you. Or you could do the Red Bull X Challenge series. In this series, there is the Red Bull Kart Masters, the Red Bull X 2014 Junior Championship, and the Red Bull X 2014 Standard Championship. We'll be doing the X2014 Center Championship because this is the actual legit easiest way to earn all the money you could possibly ask for in any game. Of course, this game's been out for a while and so has this series, so I'm sure the vast majority of the people are familiar with it. The total of five races. And the best part? It's not as long of a series as you expect. Just these five races, you get about a total of 20 minutes worth of gameplay. And I'm going to try to do that for you all today. Now, none of these settings here matter. You just drive whatever you want to drive for the options. Alright, let's just go to town whenever it decides to load. Each race is actually about anywhere from three to five minutes, too, so... Oh, that's any correlation to you guys. Each race gives you a little over $130,000, but plus you have the 200% bonus, so you obviously get twice as much money as that, so whatever that is, 200000 something. Every series has its own difference in money. I'm going to turn it down because these are loud, but they sound fantastic. Hopefully that's quiet enough. So, yeah. Oh, shoot. Now, are you guys, now, you guys can also cross the track if you want to. You can cheat and do stuff like that. I just might do that in this video just to make things go by just a little bit quicker. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Yeah, the only reason I'm going to cut in this video on any corner of a truck is just to make my time a little quicker for you guys. Just so you can get this video ending as soon as possible because I don't like making super long videos so that's what usually happens nowadays for me. Because I like to spend like five minutes talking about stuff that isn't really necessary. So, for all five of the races you do, you get one million dollars if you win every race. And you have the 200 percent bonus, you get one million dollars when you finish the five races and you win the series. But then you get the money for winning the championship, which is an extra million dollars. So really, you receive a total of two million dollars when you complete the series, when you beat it with all golds and stuff. It's really helpful. Like again, I'm, I don't normally cheat, but just because to make this video last as quick as possible, I'm just going to try to make things as quick as possible for you guys. And if you guys want to do this with me too, you know, you can. A little walkthrough type thing for you guys. Figured I'd do something more with GT6. I'll try to make some more uh, drag tunes available for you guys. Um, you all are pretty aware of my FXX drag tune. That's pretty successful for most people, it seems. There's a lot of positive feedback for that one, so I'm glad that one managed to work. Is EC2? I've gotten some good feedback from that too. Um, but. Yeah, but that's not important right now, because this is how you get the money to buy those cars. 
This is what happens when you're short on money. You can even just do one of these races just individually, and you get almost $250,000 at least. Somewhere around those lines, I don't know the exact total, so forgive me if I'm not correct. Ooh, I went way wide on that turn. Don't you guys just love the new... Well, what, what do you guys think of the new X1 Red Bull sound? Do you like them compared to Gran Turismo 5, or do you think they're worse or more annoying? Or I I tend to like... I, li I like the way they sound. I think they sound pretty good. It's another awesome thing about these is they're extremely cheaper compared to what they were doing. Or not to what they were doing, but they were ex they're extremely cheaper compared to what they were in Gran Turismo 5. In Gran Turismo 5, they were $20 million. But for this one, they're only $6 million. And that's if you want the very best top-end faster ones. Um, I'm not sure how much this one costs. Maybe it's like $2 million. I'm not sure. I'll, uh, you guys can figure that out for yourselves. I'm not particularly interested in the Red Bulls in this game yet. I figured I'd get some more cars first before I went and just bought a Red Bull. Just because this is the only challenge you use them for, and you don't even use your own Red Bull for this challenge, so... And considering a lot of people find them annoying, I don't normally buy them. But you guys do what you want to do. They're definitely vehicles you would run and have. Just to have, if anything. Alright, so that race finished. Standing's not important. All that's important is that I get first place for every race so that you guys can get the max total. Now for this one, I got $260,000 plus with the login bonus with the 200%. That's how much I get. Now it says... The reason why I have a total of 558,638 credits is because I've already had some money to begin with. That's just adding on to what I already have. So, the total of what I have doesn't matter. What matters is what you guys get. Right up there it says point ranking, standard championship race, race one of five. So we got four races to go. And the third race is the, probably the most hardest one for me, at least. And that's the one at Apricot Hill. That one is super ridiculously hard. You gotta make sure you're careful on that track because the AI Red Bull cars go all over the place on that track. Uh, they spin a lot. They get in your way, they block you, they hit you, they spin you. And it's really annoying. And the worst part is, once you mess up once on that track you're not gonna have a chance of getting first place at all. I mean, it's it's very unlikely you'll get first place if you were to spin out or something. This is the quickest race of the whole series. This one, uh... I don't know if this one's... Uh, Grand Forest Raceways? Oh yeah, Trial Mountain. Yeah, this one at Trial Mountain is the quickest race because it only lasts about three minutes. If you're not messing up like I just did there. This is the easiest race of the series. So if you want to earn a particular amount of money in short time, and you just want to do one of the five races from the series, this is the best one to do it in because it's the quickest. Is it the easiest? Maybe not. Uh, Fuji, number four out of the five races. Fuji Speedway is probably the honest, easiest race but if you want it the quickest way, this is the quickest way to earn the money. And I'll tell you what, you make contact with some of these Red Bulls, you'll just be ready to respond for some crash avoidance, because you're going to be spinning. And they're not even going to move. It's really annoying. But Rubbin's racing, right? Of course, with these cars, you'd be dead anyway. There's no way you would survive on this track, especially. 
with all the G forces this car these these vehicles are are pushing out. The fact that you're going around hills at super high speeds and crap, the altitude sickness has to be dramatic. Just a slight change in elevation, I mean that's just gotta completely destroy yourself. Uh obviously it'd be really fun to do, but uh I don't think you've survived, though, if you did that. So, I mean, you know. That's probably why these cars don't exist in real life. They got, like, the concepts they made, but they're not actually drivable. For that reason. Lap three. All right. Ooh, I hit the wall. The coolest thing they did about these Red Bulls, I think, in this game compared to Gran Turismo 5, is the ones in GT5 were all so similar. Whether you had the prototypes or like that carbon fiber model or whatever that one was, or you had the S Vettel model, which those models are also in this game as well. This is just one of the new ones they added. That and the Juniors, which I'm not going to use those, but you guys can use those, you see those for yourself. And those ones are super cheap too. Those are either like a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand. I I don't remember. But yep, we finished that race. First place. Skip that. And I got two hundred forty-eight thousand dollars with the two hundred percent login bonus for first place. You guys want to keep track of the money or whatever to make sure I'm not lying to you guys by saying you win a million dollars for the series for for completing all five races for first place. But then your reward for finishing in first place is the, an extra one million to get you two million. Go ahead and add all those up if you want. I mean I'm not going to, but that's what I know for a fact. All right, the hardest, the hardest race. Of the series for me, anyways. Whew. This track sure is gonna be difficult. I'll have to just see what I was talking about. Don't expect me to actually win this race just because I'm not very good at this track with these cars. And whatever happens with the other AI cars driving around and crap being all stupid. Alright, let's just get this underway, I guess. Wish me luck, guys. I'm gonna need it. As long as... If you can survive this first turn, basically, I mean, you should be all rightly decent, as long as you don't spin. See, and now they're all stopping so shortly. I just passed five of them standing still because they literally stopped in the middle of the racetrack. And that one got loose right there and I'm getting loose. Shit. Fuck. And that's what I'm talking about. Shit. Now I'm back in last place. Yay. Fuck this track. Whatever. Hopefully I can at least pass some people. But you can see how everything was going to chaos on this track. This track is awful for this challenge. 14 seconds behind. I don't think shortcutting is going to help me, even though I'm going to try. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to get first place. I'm gonna try to work some of my magic, my old racing charm, but we'll see what happens. 
He's great checking me, you dick. So as you can see, I am making up some positions, but yeah, there's there's and then I'm being great checked by that guy too. Come on. I'm making up positions, but they're not it's not gonna be good enough. I did gain four seconds, but unfortunately four seconds isn't gonna help me when I'm still behind by ten. Go, 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 draft off his ass. Oh, we're halfway up the field now, thank God. Sixth place out of twelve. Also, we can at least maybe get a podium if we're lucky. Or at least a top five, I guess. I'm still seven seconds behind. Ooh, that was a late break. That could have been costly. Go off of the dirt. People only use this race camera when they're super determined to win and do good. Really, because this is the front of the car, but you can see. Oh, third place. Yeah, not good enough, unfortunately, though. One more lap, I would have had them. What if... These cars weren't so awful. I'm still gonna, you're still gonna make a lot of money though, regardless of where you finish. Assuming you don't finish below sixth, you're still gonna make a decent amount of money. Like I still won 122,000. So I got third place. So probably multiply like 122,000 by like two or three, and baby, that's that's probably the total you'd get for winning. Anyways, we shouldn't have a losing problem anymore, because the next race is Fuji Raceway, or Speedway, I don't know what it is, properly called, Spe yeah, Fuji Speedway. And then the last one's the Nürburgring Grand Prix track, the GPD circuit, the short one. As I said earlier... This is probably, out of the series, the one you're most likely going to win by the easiest amount of... You're going to have the best chance of winning on this track. Even if you mess up, you're pretty much guaranteed to win on this map. Bob and weave, boys. Don't have a lot of speed there. You can try to knock out somebody there and slow down the rest of the field. Plus, there's a few spots on this map you can shortcut if you really wanted to. You can take this massive turn going full throttle. That's the cool part about this. Almost, if you don't run into the grass. can take the turns wide too so you don't gotta worry about staying inside the track. And you can cut the chicane if you want to but I'm not gonna just because. I'd like to play fair at some race. Ooh, I went way wide on that one. That sharp turn, though, that last sharp turn, though, was a tricky one. It's really hard to determine the precise location of where you want to be. We are just about coming up on the 20 minute mark of the video, but do keep in mind, I was talking for about 10 minutes, so 5-10 minutes, so give or take that time in effect too, prior to actually starting the race. It is actually if you're really determined and you really want to try hard enough. I mean, it really is about 20 minutes. It's not under 20 minutes, but it, the, the quickest you'll probably get it done is 20 minutes. 
But for those 20 minutes, you get a lot of money. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Those you get to use these cars. They're, they're fun to drive, but they can be annoying at times. I try to master this sharp, fast turn. Not today. Yeah, I'm six second. I'm six seconds ahead, so I should be able to win this hands down. Like I said, this is the easiest track to win. I didn't say it was the quickest way to earn the money, but it's the it's the easiest way to win. I mean, no, 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 it wouldn't be because the Little Springs, no, not Little Springs, but uh, what is it? Uh, the second track we did this series, that one you can get done in under three minutes. Actually, you can get that one done in under. This one is just over three minute mark, so it's a little longer, but it's it's not terribly longer than the other race. Actually, this might even be four minutes because I'm so slow. Jesus. And I'm sprinting across the finish lane. And that does it for that race. Standings there, not really important. The only thing that matters is that you come in the lead and you come in first. The only thing that matters. For that race, I got $258,000 with the 200% login bonus. So at least you're keeping count or score of how much money exactly we've made so far. It's about eight hundred thousand dollars, a little over. Plus this last race here, which you will also get over two hundred thousand dollars. So that you win a million dollars. Boom, there's the math done for you. Badoop. At the Nurburgring, Ring. My favorite and best track in all of Gran Turismo Land. I don't mean to brag, but it's true. Alright, let's get this massacre over with, shall we? Sometimes it takes long for these tracks to load. It's kind of, it's really annoying, kind of. At least it loads faster than it did in GT5, though, so, I mean, that's a good thing. Just all this waiting builds up for the suspense of all the money you're about to make when you finish this race. All the suspense. It's really worth doing the series. It really is. The good thing about this series is every race you do is three laps, too, so it's not terribly long, either. So that's also another good thing. It's not like you're doing, like two laps on one track, and then like five on another, and then like three on the next one, and then like ten on the next, then you just do like two on the next one. I mean, it, it's straightforward three laps. So, you're running consistent, you're running almost consistent lap times, as you do on every, on the other tracks you run on. I mean, you're in the ballpark for the same track. Now, I'm going to shortcut again, just so I can hurry it up with. If you, you guys don't even have to shortcut. As long as you guys stay in the lead, you're fine. I'm just going to shortcut, just so I can get this video done and over with for you guys. Because all you're really waiting for now is for me to confirm that you not only win $1 million, but you get $1 million again for completing the championship in first place. So, I mean, it's a staggering, a staggering amount of money. Sub, oop, cut in that chicane like a boss.
These AI, though, that you're racing against, they're very unpredictable. They can just spin out at any second during any race on this series. It's, you really just gotta be alert when you're in them, amongst them. They tend to break a lot, too. But really, who needs brakes? Oh god, I spun. But not a problem. Yeah, so tell me guys, what do you think about the new Red Bull sound? Do you like them, or do you uh, not like them? Because I honestly do. I think they're much improved. And the funny thing is, especially when you're online, you can literally hear these, these cars across the whole other side of the racetrack. That's how loud it is. It's really, it's pretty cool to hear though. It's pretty cool to hear, but then you automatically know somebody's using a Red Bull. So, I mean, take that as you will, but it's really cool though. These tra these cars are super, super loud, and they can be heard throughout the whole track. It's really, it's really cool to listen to, actually. If you ever, if you, if you, if you've ever, of course, paid attention to that, which I, of course, have, because psh, why wouldn't you, right? Alright, and here we go on the last lap. We'll do a little onboard camera for you guys here. I'm kidding, we'll run this one inside the cockpit. You can drift these cars a little too. It's pretty cool. We're in the Red Bull outfit, not like that's any correlation or anything with the Red Bull series you're actually doing, but I actually bought the Red Bull suit, so I wish the racing suits you guy were a little bit cheaper. They seem a little too expensive for me, but you know, whatever. Oh, spun around again. Now that's one thing you don't want. You don't want to be caught in a dirt trap. Or a sand trap, not dirt trap, a sand trap. You don't want to be caught in one of those. The grass, you're particularly fine, just be expected to spin uncontrollably. But it doesn't matter, because we still got a pretty big lead on everybody. Still got a five second lead, plus I'm shortcutting. Because, you know, I'm like a boss. And cross the finish line. Alright, and a perfect, I don't know what that was, 720. Something like that. Finish that race like a G. Alright, and in that race we got $276,000 for the 200% login bonus. And thus, if you've been keeping count, if you've been, if you've been, uh, well, well, I just lost it. If you've been keeping track of how much money you've been earning, it has been a million dollars. And then when you go to the exit, you say, hey, we won a, we won a championship, yay. And advance, then your reward for finishing the championship in first place is again one million dollars to total that two million dollars. You just... Well, the total for a total of $2 million to top that $1 million you just previously had. So, there you go. That's evidence enough for you. This is the ultimate way to earn money. Thank you for your time, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this little tutorial session helped you. And, until next time, Racing for Life 132 is signing off.